Welcome. There is global company producing bicycles called Bike Mania. Five years ago, this Spanish company expanded their production to Brazil and two years ago to Singapore. This is great because it brought opportunities to grow their business in other markets. European market for Bike Mania is quite stable and growing. However, South America and Pacific markets are struggling. Growth in these regions are not as initially expected. Research showed that company must improve their prices to be more competitive. Strategic business case was set with several opportunities to focus on. One of the opportunity is direct component sourcing, owned and lead, by supply chain organization. There are several suppliers delivering raw material, and components to parent company in Spain. This material is redistributed to daughter companies. This setup prolongs delivery times, increases inventory. There is double handling required on top of that. All this have direct influence on final price. Improvement team goal is to redirect 100% of outsourced products. From outside vendors to Brazil and Singapore. International team consisted of production, logistics, engineering, legal, and of course supply chain members. All three facilities were represented in the team team. Initial team Kaizen event was held. Current state process map was drawn. All suppliers and their products in scope of this project were identified too. Also, future state of this process was mapped. Step-by-step -step material redirecting guideline was also developed on this event. This will help teams to work unified way. To understand the best strategy, and to set due date for final transferred parts, some more details needed to be known. There are too many components to be transferred from different supplying companies. And there are some requirements deviations between daughter facilities too. Both facilities brought list of parts that are bought through parent company. 80% of parts were identical. 20% of different parts requirement is caused by little differences for local markets. To handle amount of the work, three project generations were identified. Team decided to be focused on common parts with highest volumes in generation one. Due date for this generation was set up for nine months. Common parts with lower volumes for generation two with duration six months. Generation three will be on not common parts also six month duration. Legal department contacted all suppliers in scope of generation one. It was explained, what are new expectations? There will be three different destination of the products now. To let vendors understand where to ship required quantity, production orders series were changed. Each order must have required part identification number, name, and quantity on it. New contracts with component suppliers needed to be signed. Supply chain team members calculated new expected ordered volumes. Based on increased volumes predictions, component prices were reviewed and decreased. Logistics needed to contact transportation companies. It was needed to understand which type of delivery will fit the best with optimal prices and delivery times. Contracts with new transport companies needed to be signed. Engineering team members reviewed drawings and documentations for transferred components. Intent was to double check opportunities to decrease some component discrepancies. Process review with suppliers was initiated to improve situation. In the case of discrepancy, direct communication with supplier quality department was set up. Common discrepancy documentation was defined to. To verify new process setup, initial pilot components were transferred new way. It revealed challenges at customs. Different countries have different required documentation to be provided. Correct documentation was reviewed and updated. Once pilot was accomplished, the rest of parts were able to be transferred without major problems. First generation lasted three months more, than planned. It was because of required changes in purchasing software. Generation 2 and 3 run smoothly according initial plan. New process runs well. Bike Mania company was able to improve their business results and local market competitiveness by 15% by implementing direct sourcing strategy. There were other teams working on other opportunities to improve competitiveness. Take a look under the video, where you find a link to my blog, where you can download Six Sigma, Lean and Project Management Oriented Templates for free. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. Thank you.